guys thank you for joining me today i'm going to be doing an acrylic swipe to create a background for what i then plan to turn into a pretty nature scene with a whale tail in it i'm starting off by painting the top portion of the canvas light blue this light blue is ultimately going to form the sky in my painting the specific colors that i'm using are light blue and cerulean blue these are both um, artist loft paints. This white is mixed four parts paint to eight parts floetrol to one part water. Now that I've got a rough outline, I'm adding the colours that I'm going to swipe over. For the mountainy section, I'm using grey, phthalo blue and light blue. For the watery section, I'm using turquoise, light blue, and a mix of light blue with a little bit of phthalo blue in it. All of the blues and greys are mixed four parts paint to eight parts floetrol to one part water plus one drop of silicon oil. Now I'm adding the white that I'm going to swipe with. This white is mixed four parts paint to eight parts floetrol to three parts water and it doesn't contain any silicon. So if you mess up your swipe the first time, like I just did, you can definitely go over it again. My personal preference is to swipe as few times as possible though over the same area. To me, the paint doesn't muddy as much like that and I feel like you get the best cells that way. But like I said, it's perfectly fine to swipe more than once. Now I'm using some phthalo blue on my angled paintbrush to help create the horizon line. Now I'm using a mix of mostly phthalo blue with a little bit of black in it to create the tail. Off camera I ended up going over the tail two more times with this shade just to get it a little bit darker. I should have done this next part before adding the tail but I didn't realize I was going to do this so now I'm working around the tail to add some transparent white below the horizon line. Um, looking at the painting it just seemed like I needed to lighten up that section of the water a little bit. I'm trying to create a bit of a shadow and some depth over here where the water that's disturbed is. I'm using phthalo blue mixed with a little bit of black to do that. I'm 
I'm trying a toothpick to place the transparent white paint and then using a dry paintbrush to help create the look of water pouring off the tail. Actually, after fiddling around a bit, I found it was easier to dip the tip of my paintbrush into a little bit of the white paint and to then just use that to create the look of water. To finish off, I'm just adding a slightly darker shade of blue over here. Again, this is Thalo Blue mixed with a bit more black paint than last time. And I think I'm gonna stop there. Thanks so much for joining me. If you would like to see more tutorials like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.